Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 14. Decimal fractions. Topic D, addition with tenths and hundredths. In this lesson, you're going to have several word problems. We're going to do two of them. The first one we're going to do says, barrel A contains two and seven tenths liters of water. Barrel B contains three and nine hundredths liters of water. Together, how much water do the two barrels contain? To do this one, I'm going to draw a tape diagram that shows that I have two parts. I have barrel A and I have a barrel B. Together, those barrels would tell me how much water it contains. So barrel A contains two and seven tenths liters. Barrel B contains three and nine hundredths liters. I need to know how much they contain all together. So I'm going to add them together. First, when I look at this, I don't want to just think about adding seven plus nine because this is not the same unit. This is a seven tenths, this is nine hundredths. And I can see that best when I write it as a fraction. So instead of having two and seven tenths, I can decompose these tenths into hundredths and I will have two and seventy hundredths plus three and nine hundredths. When I do that, I can add the two and the three and get five. I can add the seventy and the nine and get seventy-nine. So, five and seventy-nine hundredths, written as a decimal, would be five and seventy-nine hundredths liters. So, how much water do the two barrels contain? Five and seventy-nine hundredths liters. Now this is one way I could have solved it, but I want to show you another way. I'm still adding two and seven tenths and three and nine hundredths together, but and I'm still thinking about them as fractions. But I'm going to start with two and seven tenths. So I'm going to begin with two and seventy hundredths. Now I need to add three. So I'm going to add three to this. I have two ones plus three ones. So two and seventy hundredths plus three ones would be five and seventy hundredths. Now I just need to add my nine hundredths to that. So I add my nine hundredths and I get five and seventy nine hundredths. This shows me that my total amount of water is five and seventy nine hundredths liters. Now this next problem is going to be kind of challenging because it has more than one step. So we're going to do a lot of drawing and writing in this problem to help us keep track of where we are. A team of three ran a relay race. The final runner's time was the fastest, measuring 29 and 2 tenths seconds. The middle runner's time was 1 and 89 hundredths seconds slower than the final runner's. The starting runner's time was 0 and 9 tenths seconds slower than the middle runner's. What was the team's total time for the race? So the final runner, so let's think about a relay race. The starter, then the middle, then the final. So the final runner's time was the fastest, measuring 29 and 2 tenths seconds. 
So I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to label that with the word final. So this is my final runner and I know that my final runner ran 29 and 2 tenth seconds. Now the middle runner and I'm going to put the word middle here. The middle runner's time was 1 and 89 hundredth seconds slower than the final runner's time. So let's think about what, that's, what that means. The middle runner ran slower than the final runner. So he has more time. So he ran this amount of time plus this amount, 1 and 89 hundredth seconds. So the middle runner ran the same amount of time as the final plus more. So you can see what we need to do to find the middle runner. We need to take 29 and 2 tenth seconds and add 1 and 89 hundredths seconds to that. So that would look like this. But I don't want to just try to add this together. I want to think about it as fractions first. So 29 and 2 tenths plus 1 and 89 hundredths. That's going to be equal to 29 and 2 tenths plus 1 and 89 hundredths. Now here's an issue. Trying to add my tenths and my hundredths together. I need to think about these two tenths as being hundredths. That would be 20 hundredths because I can decompose the tenths into hundredths. So instead of having 2, I would have 20. Now I can add this together. 20 plus 1 is 30. So now I have 30 and 20 hundredths plus 89 hundredths. So now when I add these hundredths together, I get 109. So now 30 and 109 hundredths. I see a hundred hundredths in here, so I can take one more hole out and put it with the 30, and now I have 31 and 9 hundredths. Written as a decimal, it would be 31 and 9 hundredths. So this middle runner ran for 31 and nine hundredths seconds. Now let's think about our starter. So it says that the starting runner's time was nine tenth seconds slower than the middle runner. So that means that the starter ran the same amount of time as the middle runner, but added on nine tenths more. So when we look at this, we can see that we would have to add 31 and nine hundredth seconds plus nine tenths of a second. So I can think about that first as decimals. So this is what this would look like. But I want to think about this as fractions. 31 and 9 hundredths plus 9 tenths. Now, I am trying to add hundredths and tenths, so I need to make my units alike. So I know that 9 tenths I can make into 90 hundredths. So now I have 31 and 9 hundredths plus 90 hundredths. 90 plus 9 is 99. So now I have 31 and 99 hundredths. 
So the starter ran for 31 and 99 hundredths seconds. Now I have all three of their times. The starter's time was 31 and 99 hundredth seconds. The second runner was 31 and 9 hundredths seconds. And the last runner was 29 and 2 tenths seconds. Now I need to add these together. So I can think about them first as decimals. But I don't want to stop there. I want to think about them as fractions. So 29 and 2 tenths plus 31 and 9 hundredths plus 31 and 99 hundredths. I have hundredths here and I have hundredths here. I need to make this one into hundredths as well. So that's going to be 20 hundredths because I'm decomposing my 2 tenths into hundredths. Now I can add this together and I can start by adding 29, 31, and 31. I mean, one of the things I can see is that if I take this one right here and put it with this 29, then I would have 30, 30, and 31. Well, I know that 3 times 3 is 9, so 3 times 3 tens would be 9 tens. 9 tens is 90. Plus this 1 would be 91. So then I can say I have 91 here, ones. Now I can add, I, I see these two, and I'm thinking if I put one of these ones with this, I would have 100 and 8. So I have 91 and 20 hundredths plus 108 hundredths. So then I can see that I have 100 hundredths here. That's going to be one more. That's going to make 92. And then I put the 20 and the 8 together and I have 92 and 28 hundredths. So now I've added all of this together and I have found if I add all of the runners times together, I could say they ran the race in 92 and 28 hundredths seconds. All right, that'll take care of things for lesson 14 where we've been solving word problems involving addition of measurements in decimal form.